Hi, this is Bill Malinowski. I'm the councilman representing District 1 in Northwest Richland County. And I would like to welcome you to this month's edition of Richland County Recap. Richland County's Public Works employees were treated to a barbecue lunch and a day of fun during May's National Public Works Week to thank them for their dedicated service. Well, this is our annual National Public Works Week celebration barbecue. Actually, this is an opportunity for all uh, Public Works employees across the nation, not just Richland County, to let the public know about the importance of the services we provide, uh, most of the time, you don't think about what we do. We provide nice pavements and roads and drainage, water, sewer, you name it. The day also included a backhoe rodeo, a competition which tests the precision skills of the county's heavy equipment operators. National Public Works Week showcases the role of Public Works employees in building and maintaining communities. Day in and, and day out, rain, shine, uh, snow, ice, they work hard, so this is to give thanks to them. Richland County Community Development helped break ground for a renovation project to transform an outdated property into an affordable smart home for a senior citizen. So today, we are here to celebrate a milestone for SC Uplift's groundbreaking of their legacy home, a smart but affordable home for enabling older adults to age in place. Uplift's latest partnership with AARP, the University of South Carolina Smart Home Center for Economic Excellence, Richland County, Palmetto Health, and others demonstrates great vision, not simply because of this new housing model, but because no one sector has the scientific knowledge and techno technical expertise to develop this type of project. The technology aspect of it, with the um, focusing on with the telehealth, connecting to um, your provider here at the home instead of having to go to your doctor as well as uh, with the automation of security features to be checked on and monitored. This is very important to Richmond County as it is today. We have a goal to add 1,000 affordable housing units, both rental and home ownership by the year 2022. The home is expected to be ready in October. The county's emergency services department led a hurricane preparedness workshop in May to get residents ready for the hurricane season, which runs from June to November. Residents got tips on how to prepare for a disaster and learned about the resources the county provides to protect and assist the public. The workshop was part of Engage Richland, a year-round series of free events to give residents insight into how county government works to provide services and programs. For more information about Engage Richland events, visit richlandcountysc.gov. Richland County Special Services Division is helping communities clean up. Several neighborhoods throughout the county are taking part in Clean Sweeps, an initiative that gives residents the opportunity to spruce up yards, clean out garages, and declutter closets. Clean Sweeps target items not accepted at curbside collection. The events are held year-round, but the spring and summer are especially busy times of year for the Special Services team. District 1 Councilman Bill Malinowski attended a Clean Sweep in June and expressed the importance of these efforts. Richland County Special Services has arranged to provide a clean sweep for several neighborhoods in northwest Richland County, which means people have been notified that it's coming. They can put the trash out they normally can't put in the regular household trash on a weekly basis. It gives them the opportunity to get rid of some things that they wouldn't have the opportunity uh, or the wherewithal to take to the landfill maybe or maybe throw alongside the road if we don't want it there. For those of us who can't make it, who have large enough vehicles, to go to Monticello Road to dispose of items that we've been storing in our garage for years, this, uh, this is a great opportunity for them to get rid of those things. Like we call it, it's a clean sweep. Yeah, this is something your taxes are paying for, and we want to make sure you're getting the benefit out of your taxes by 
offering these services. To schedule a clean sweep in your community, contact the Ombudsman's Office at 803-929-6000. Richland County leaders commemorated recently installed gateway signage that identifies the Broad River Road area as a neighborly place. The two new signs are part of the Broad River Road Corridor and Community Master Plan. The plan was adopted by County Council in 2010 and aims to revitalize the area while maintaining its character. Last year, 21 roadside banners displaying the Neighborly Place theme were installed along a 4.5-mile stretch of Broad River Road. The new gateway signs are the most recent effort in the rebranding initiative. One sign is located on Broad River Road near River Hill Circle and the other greets motorists exiting I-20. For the fourth consecutive year, Richland County EMS won the American Heart Association's Mission Lifeline EMS Gold Award for outstanding care of patients who suffer a type of heart attack caused by a complete blockage of blood flow to the heart. The American Heart Association says receiving the award indicates an organization's efforts to provide the best pre-hospital care possible to patients. Richland County's Fleet Management Division was recently ranked 15th in this year's 100 Best Fleets in the Americas. The ranking is the highest the county has ever achieved. The division oversees more than 1,500 vehicles and pieces of equipment. Several factors are evaluated in the annual ranking process, including use of technology, quick repair turnaround, competitive pricing, safety, and efficiency. Richland County residents displaced by the October 2015 flood continue to return home. Seven more families recently have received keys to brand new mobile homes. Funding is still available for low to moderate income residents living in Richland County, excluding the City of Columbia. Learn more at richlandcountysc.gov backslash flood recovery or call 888-964-1589. Council Chairwoman Joyce Dickerson gave opening remarks at the 2018 Fire Rescue Conference in Columbia on June 14th. I want to welcome you on behalf of Richland County Council to City of Columbia, what we call famously hot. It is an honor, as I stated earlier, to welcome South Carolina the Firefighters Rescue Annual Conference this morning to Columbia. One thing about the Columbia Richland Fire Service, we're uniquely urban and we are, we, we not only service the city, but it's the county as well. It is a great combination of department, motion with both paid and volunteer. The conference is being held in Columbia for the first time in more than 30 years. Hundreds of emergency officials from across the state took part in classes and hands-on training during the five-day event. After welcoming the attendees, Councilwoman Dickerson was surprised with a singing of Happy Birthday, led by South Carolina Governor Henry McMaster. Happy birthday, dear Joyce. Happy birthday to you. Thank you for joining us for this month's edition of The Recap, a production of the Richland County Public Information Office. I'm Beverly Harris. Like and follow Richland County on Facebook and Twitter for weather updates, emergency information, and county news. And now, here are some recent statistics from county departments working hard for you.